Should we get a snack or are you doing okay? Yeah. What are you thinking? I don't know. Some healthy vegetarian gas station options? Yeah. Woody Faircloth and his nine-year-old daughter Luna are getting used to life on the road. Look at how beautiful this is. It really is pretty. For the last three years, they've been taking special trips to deliver RVs to families who've lost homes in wildfires. It's a mission they began after watching news of the deadly 2018 campfire in California. I turned to Luna, who was six at the time. She had no front teeth. And uh, I said, Luna, you know, why don't we get an RV and we'll drive it to California and give it to a family so they have a place to call home for Thanksgiving. Luna, you said something very special right then at that Thanksgiving. Yeah, I said, um, Dad, God and Santa Claus are going to be very proud of us. <laughs> and do you feel like God and Santa Claus are very proud of you? Yes. <laughs> Faircloth began looking for RV donors and was amazed by how many people wanted to help with unwanted RVs or their time. We have volunteers all over the country that have helped us. We have people right now that are answering emails and processing uh, paperwork for, for these donations. I mean, it's just raise your hand and say, hey, I'd like to help. Well, they can come home and make a home cooked meal. And Dad and daughter have personally delivered about 20 RVs to folks in need, beautiful. mostly firefighters, first responders, and veterans. And he's helped arrange around 100 donations in all. But it's also been an opportunity to teach his daughter. Oh, look at the palm trees. Everywhere along their trips are reminders of the cost of these fires. Look at the ground, how it's just ash. And they've developed oh, a stronger bond. It's been really special for the two of us just to be able to spend that time together and to make a difference, just so she knows that it's not just about her and it's not just about me. It's about the people that we're helping. And, you know, we've, we're blessed. Oh my gosh, it's so, like, bumpy. We joined them on a trip from Denver to Redding, California. All right, now we're really in the home stretch. Da, 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 da. They were there to deliver a new home. Yeah, that's beautiful. To Don George, a firefighter who lost nearly everything when his own home burned in the fawn fire this past September, while he was helping to save others' homes. I went to the crew and I go, hey, I got, I got to go check on my house, and it was already too late. My son says, I don't know how to tell you. But he just couldn't even talk. He just, he didn't know how to say it. You know, it's gone. George has been fighting fires for nearly 50 years. He's used to being the one doing the rescuing. Is that your co-pilot? His role changed when the fair clocks arrived. I got keys for you. Thank you. I got a title for you. When we visited George a few weeks later. As I look at the crown molding. It's like, I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. He'd received a second donated RV so that his adult sons who lived with their parents could also have a place to live. All I can say is thank God for Woody. You couldn't ask for a better man. He came just exactly the right time for me, renewed my faith in mankind. Man, if there was more people like that, we'd have a beautiful world. All of these families we feel like are, they're part of our family now and, and we stay in touch and we, we hear their stories and share their successes. You continue to be a community. Absolutely. And the experience has also helped a little girl grow wise beyond her years. What makes you most proud? Um, that I've made a really big change in the world for a lot of people. Do you want people to see this and decide children and adults that they can do the same thing? Yes. What can we all do to help make that happen? Just be nicer to each other.